Tom Cyberox with Outlandishly Crafted. And today, we're going to be talking about capes. How do you make an armor cape? So here we go. You can see I've got the armor cape on my back. When I jump, it does stuff. When I move, it does stuff. When I don't move, it does stuff. And when it rains, it does stuff. does stuff faster even. Okay, so let's get to it. Here we go. Let's jump over to the block bench and look at how it's set up in block bench. So simply in block bench, we just have an attachable. That's it. It's just an entity. Uh, we put it in a spot. You can work out the spot based on what you want. You don't want any of these bones to match the bones in the player. And on your cape root, you want to do binding to the body. You can find this guide on how to do binding on the channel. I just did one last week. So there you go. And we're going to have two of them. Then you're going to set up your animation. And the animation is just simply it going from point zero to 15 to 17 to my or, well, those are negatives so <clears throat> minus 15 minus 17 minus 5 minus or positive 17 back to zero that's it that's all the animation is then if you want it to be smooth you select these three middle ones and you do smooth versus linear and that's it and then I just have two animations. One animation plays slower over a longer period, which is three seconds. And the other animation plays over one second, making it go faster. So we put that into the game. And let's jump over to bridge. So here we go. We've got our attachable set up. We've got our materials. We've got our texture. We've got our geo. And then we just added in the two animations, idle, idle, slow, and then I just use some basic Mojang to set up how we want those to play. So in one idle, we say, <coughs> if it's raining, play 10 times the speed with a minimum of 0 0.2 and 2.5 as the top. Uh, so if you're moving and it's raining, it's going to do a whole bunch. If you're down here and you're not moving, you're not jumping, then it's going to play really slow. If you're here and you're uh, jumping and you're moving, it's going to play really fast. If you're here and you're not jumping and you're moving over 0 0.01, then it's going to play pretty fast. You can do these however you want. It's really easy. You could just put one in here and just play the idle with none of this. Or you could put in Mojang to help it be more fluid. And that's really it. That's how to do capes in armor slots and you can see it's just an armor slot that we enable on our character and now we've got our cape and we can go run around now i have my cape a little high because i don't want it to overlap my tail so the goal is to keep the cape you know bouncing off the tail or not hitting it you can still see the feet go through the back that's something I still want to fix um, well I'll probably just tilt that that you know tail of the cape up just a little so that when I'm running I don't have it in there I don't have the feet going through it but that's it that's how to do capes in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Again, I'm CyberX without wonderfully crafted. And if you have any other questions or needs, put them in the comments. Oh, we always need that encouragement. If you like this stuff, say so. Give us a thumbs up. Watch those guys. We need watch time like nothing else. So thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell. Thanks for watching.